Hi, boys and girls. My name is Karen Colby, and I'm coming to you today as Mother Goose. I brought my friend Feathers. Feathers really likes to hear stories read to him, and I like to read. So today I'm going to read you a story, and I hope that you enjoy it. This is a story that you might already be familiar with. So listen and see if you've ever heard this one before. This is a little golden book. And our story today is Toy Story. Andy was a lucky boy. He had a lot of different toys but his favorite toy was a cowboy named Woody. Andy loved to play with Woody, but there was something Andy didn't know about Woody and the other toys. When Andy wasn't around, the toys had a life of their own. They moved, they talked, they laughed, and they had adventures. All toys did, but only when no one was watching. One year, Andy got a brand new toy for his birthday, a space ranger named Buzz Lightyear. Buzz had flashing lasers, gadgets, and even wings. Buzz thought he was a real space ranger. He even thought he could fly. Woody tried to tell Buzz that he was actually a toy, but Buzz wouldn't listen. Soon, Buzz became Andy's new favorite toy, and that made Woody very sad. One day, Andy was going to Pizza Planet. His mother told him he could bring just one toy. Woody wanted to go. He tried to shove Buzz aside, but he accidentally pushed Buzz out of Andy's bedroom window instead. Whoops! Woody got to go with Andy but the other toys were very upset. They thought Woody had pushed Buzz out the window on purpose. Woody felt badly until Buzz turned up in the car too. Buzz was angry with Woody and the two began to fight. When the car stopped at the gas station, they tumbled out the back door. Oh no, Andy and his mom drove off to Pizza Planet leaving Buzz and Woody behind. They had become lost toys. And Andy's family was moving to a new house in just two days. Oh, my. Then Woody spotted a Pizza Planet truck. Woody told Buzz the truck was a spaceship, and they hopped on board. Buzz insisted on riding up front. Luckily, a stack of pizza boxes kept him hidden from the driver. At Pizza Planet, Buzz climbed into a claw game filled with toy aliens. Buzz thought the game was a spaceship. Woody tried to get Buzz out, but soon they were both trapped in there. Oh no, Andy's mean neighbor Sid captured Buzz and Woody. Sid loved to torture toys. Woody and Buzz were in trouble. Sid took Buzz and Woody home with them. Sid's room was full of mutant toys. He had created them by combining different toy parts in strange ways. And now he had an evil plan for Buzz and Woody. They had to escape. Buzz tried to fly out of Sid's house, but he fell. He finally realized that Woody was right. He wasn't a real space ranger. He was only a toy. Sid strapped a rocket to Buzz. He planned to blow Buzz to pieces. Buzz and Woody had to work together if they were going to escape. But Buzz didn't want to escape. He felt sad because he wasn't a real space ranger. Woody helped Buzz to understand that Andy loved him and that being a toy was very, very important. Before they knew it, Buzz and Woody had become friends. 
Woody came up with a plan to save Buzz. He asked Sid's toys to help. Just as Sid was about to blow Buzz up, Woody and the mutant toys came to life. Sid was terrified. He screamed and he ran away. Buzz and Woody were thrilled. So they were Sid's toys. They knew that Sid would never torture them again. Now Buzz and Woody were free to go back to Andy. But Andy's moving van had already pulled away from his house. They had to catch up. Buzz and Woody ran and ran. Sid's mean dog, Scud, began to chase them. Luckily, R.C. came out of the moving van to give Buzz and Woody a ride. They thought they were home free until R.C.'s batteries began to run down. Then they remembered that Buzz still had Sid's rocket strapped to his back. Woody launched it. Whoosh! Buzz and Woody and R.C. flew through the air. R.C. landed safely in the back of the moving van, but Buzz and Woody kept going. Buzz popped open his wings. The rocket flew into the air and exploded. Buzz and Woody were falling, but thanks to Buzz's wings, they were falling with style. Buzz held on to Woody and veered toward Andy's car. Buzz and Woody glided through the car's sunroof and plopped down next to Andy, right where they belonged. The end. They had quite an adventure, didn't they, boys and girls? They began not being friends, but they had to work together to save themselves. And then, as they worked together, they became good friends. And eventually, they got back to the house where they were supposed to be. Said they glided through the car's sunroof and plopped down next to Andy right where they belonged. That's a good story. I like that. It shows that working together is a good thing and can help you to do some things that you can't do all by yourself. We need to remember that, don't we? Mm 